here. <laughs> nice job out there tonight. Your play really impressed us. So much so that we're considering using our pick on you if you're available when our turn comes up. Before we get that far, we'd really like to ask you a couple of questions. Question number one. As a point guard, we really feel like we can offer you something amazing, something no other team in the NBA can offer. With Steve Nash's career winding down, you have the chance to play behind and learn from one of the greatest point guards to ever put on a uniform. Once Steve decides to hang it up and you've learned everything you can from him, the starting point guard spot is yours. How can you say no to that? How could I say no? Do I look like a fool to you? What? Steve Nash probably got like three more years in him, dog. You snapping if you think I'm going to go to y'all. You know what? On to the next question, cuz. I don't think you can. Steve Nash is class. He's a legend. He's, like you said, one of the greatest point guards that's ever lived. I can learn a lot from him. It would really advance my career watching him do his thing. I'm not growing my hair out, though, man. You heard me, cuz. I keep it low cut. Interesting. Next question. As a whole, the Suns have kept the same core for the better part of a decade. We found a winning formula and stuck by it, just rotating in supporting pieces where necessary. As I'm sure you've seen over the last year or so, we're in the midst of overhauling our roster. We really love the idea of you being a part of that process. What do you think about being a centerpiece for the new Phoenix Suns? Yo, did you hear what this dude just said? He just said they kept the same core team for a decade. Is that why y'all didn't win a ring? Come on, you know what? That's a tough decision. On one hand, this is the in-between period where they're going to be some hard times. On the other hand, there is a light at the end of the tunnel where the talent all comes together and good things happen. The question is, do I want to spend the first part of my career on a struggling team? I don't know the answer to that. You hear me? I don't know. Okay then, I think we got what we needed. Appreciate you taking the time to meet with us. Here. <laughs> Hello, I'm the head scout for the Golden State Warriors. I want you to know that we're strongly considering you based on your performance tonight with our first round pick, 11th overall. We'd like to get to know you a little better before committing to you. I'm sure you understand. We have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. We feel like we already have some great young guards on our roster in Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry. Where do you see yourself fitting in with those guys? You know what, man? Get out of my locker room right now. That D voice ain't scaring me. Look, I'm not really a fit with your current roster. You guys already have some nice guards, guys that would cut into my playing time. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be best used, and I'm sorry, but that's just not with the Warriors. Yeah, I'd rather go to Cleveland. All right, then. One more. This team has a lot of momentum right now. We went through a rough stretch and had some recent draft picks that didn't work out. With guys like Monte, Stephen Curry, and David Lee, we really feel like we're on the up and up. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? Yo, I'm about to get this dude the finger, yo. Real talk. Look, you got some great young players on your roster, but I gotta keep it real here, man. I really don't see it working out between me and you. I'm looking to jump into a winning situation, and you guys in Oakland? Don't exactly have a history of that. It's nothing personal. I just need to do me, baby. Know what I mean? Your ass in this 2K. Thanks for your time. It was a little disappointing, to be honest, but I appreciate you being up front with us. Here. <laughs> Greetings. I'm the GM and Director of Player Personnel for the Rockets. In addition to the 14th pick, we also have the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks. We'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions. Let's get to it. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? You know what? I like you, man. You fast talking, slick talking. I can dig what you're saying right now, man. You got a lot to say. You got a lot that you can get off your chest. You know what? I'm going to answer you with some respect, man. I got some respect for you, my man. Real talk. I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. 
I know I would have my man Kevin Martin there to help carry the load. Let's see, one more question, if you don't mind. How important is it for you to be a lottery pick in the draft? You know what? Nobody has ever asked me that before, man. Yo, you really going into my subconscious with the questions right now, man. <laughs> you really got me thinking deep right now. Dang. Yo, boy, you, you a miracle worker, boy. Real talk. Uh, it's not important. It'd be nice to go lotto, but really, to play in this league? That's been a dream of mine for my entire life. That's what I've been working towards. I'm a dream chaser, baby. That's great. Those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft.